Hey, hey, it's me reminding you. All right, so today we're going to get straight into it. We're going to download the script, copy it over to the desktop, and who needs the manual anyway? I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, we're, we are going to read the manual. So the one thing I'm not going to do, and I apologize, love you guys, but I'm not going to wipe my deck to get the install script, but they did change the look of it. It looks a little bit different the last time. You can watch my last video on the install for MU deck where you did hit easy and we hit internal storage. And it didn't give me too much trouble. I think I had to kill the script and run it again. If you do run it with the SD card, here's a little pro tip. It says you can make sure that it's formatted as X EXT4. I think that's what that is. This is a cool new option. We didn't have this last time. But we're going to stick to what we did last time with Steam ROM Manager. Also, a new little option is Cloud Backups. Might something to touch in the future. And then copying files. All this stuff is going to be in the... In the manual, please refer back to this if you need it. A couple of these emulators do require the BIOS. Here are the emulators that require BIOS. And here are the corresponding folders for ROMs. It's pretty much just the ROMs folder. And if you change that to the uh, to the SD card, your ROMs folder will be different. But today we're going to be doing the version with Steam ROM Manager to integrate everything directly into Steam. Looks much cleaner in the end. So for real this time, we're going to copy the install script to the desktop. Note that the name changed. It changed it to install emu deck. I lost it the first time. Once you click that, you're going to get it permission to run. And again, mine already ran this, so mine just takes me to the emu deck program where I can manage it and add more emulators. But this comes with a bunch of emulators or cores out of the box. You can go into manage emulators to add more if you need more. I don't know. I'm going to try PS4 later. This person had a problem when they installed it, finding the Steam folder. So I'm going to show you where that is now. The Steam folder can be found inside of local share Steam, but local is hidden. So what you're going to have to do is go up into the corner, hit show hidden files, and then that will be where it's at. This is what Steam ROM Manager will look like right out of the box. But for continuity's sake, I'm going to change it to what my old video looked like. This is what the emulation folder will look like out of the box, with the exception of the Ryujin and the Xenia folder. Please ignore that. It's just something I did in a previous Xbox video. Maybe I'll link that, or if you have problems with a specific emulator, you can ask me in the comments. What you will have is a bunch of empty ROMs folders. So check out my previous video on how to transfer files if you have trouble transferring files. Once you've copied some files over into the corresponding ROM folder, it's simply a matter of running Steam ROM Manager and that will create links for each ROM mapped to each emulator that you can run directly from Steam. And that's what we're going to get to now. So here's Steam ROM Manager. I've changed it back to the old classic theme that I've used in the previous video, but yours might look something closer to the deck theme or the emu deck theme. I think the emu deck theme is like really overly simplified compared to the level of control that I am used to having from the old one. So I'm going to change it back personally, but you're going to have something that looks like this. That's what you fancy. Great. Sorry, I'm going to change it back to the other thing, though. Just just personal taste. But that's really all this is doing, is it's going to, give, going to give you a bunch of folders, going to give you a bunch of emulators, and then you have to scrape them. And that's what I'm going to show you an example of now. So say I transferred a Ratchet & Clank PlayStation 2 game from my computer using my How to Transfer Files video. And I'm going to test that parser that it came with first, just to make sure I've set it up correctly. And it looks good. We see Ratchet and Clank there. This is an example, though. You can use this for Game Boy, Dolphin, any other emulators, any other games. After you turned on the corresponding parser and copied each game to the right folder, you can then scan for it and customize the look of it to your heart's content. Hit save to Steam. Make sure Steam is closed, otherwise this doesn't seem to work. And after you've saved it and done this for every single game in your library, you can launch that and any other ROM with each emulator directly from Steam. If you guys have any questions, please put it in the comments, and I will catch you guys in the next one.